Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing and quick review of this Dell high performance Dell gaming laptop 15 so uh, so inches um, 4k ultra HD touchscreen Intel i7 with um, yeah quad core CPU 8 uh, 16 gigabyte RAM one terabyte hard disk and 128 gigabyte of uh, SSD with a GTX 960M with four gigabytes of um, storage. So here we have for more details. The same thing, actually, here. So let's check if everything is here. You see, should uh, yeah. When you look at it, it looks really nice. Eight hundred forty-nine dollars new um, that sounds really good it doesn't come with an uh, CD-ROM drive but who needs CD-ROM drive these days yeah uh, you have to be uh, careful where to buy but as long as you buy prime when it comes from the Amazon store you should be good so what um, bothers me a little bit are these three stars rating yeah, some people are a little bit complaining, can't remember, I think uh, one person was complaining about the 4K display, he told me, or he, he wrote that it's only 2K or something like that, so uh, for me it doesn't matter, I will use it with an uh, external screen anyway, what uh, is important for me anyway, the real quad-core CPU not something with a virtual quad core, so, uh, but the i7, the HQ series is with a physical quad core CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, SSD, and a good, decent uh, graphics card. Of course, this is not a graphics card which you can use to play the latest games in highest resolution but it's uh, supposed to be a decent graphics card where you can play like um, yeah uh, most of the games in intermediate resolution or all the games in high resolution so I've been playing yeah, a couple of games on this graphics card and I was really surprised by the performance so hold on a second yeah that's a little bit a uh, pain to open that i don't want to damage that you never know i have already bought a couple of pcs from amazon and they arrived damaged it was really um, annoying, so I haven't seen this for a long time. Two laptops in a row. It was an Asus. Uh, I've ordered two. Of, oh, 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 oh my god! I <laughs> ordered two of them, uh, and they both arrived uh, almost dead. I mean, one was uh, displaying an SSD error, like smart error. Where, which you get usually when uh, be, uh, short before it dies and the other one uh, had another hardware error and the CD-ROM was damaged so uh, but anyway we don't need a CD-ROM so I'm happy I've bought a computer without CD-ROM so the um, yeah the packaging is really surprising that looks for me like something not a not a com consumer uh, box it's more like a read I mean retail like a, yeah something um, how's it called I don't know bulk or something like this they have some kind of description but if you look at this can you see that in the back the thing is I like this actually more than other packaging because it means you have some space 
to the top, to the bottom, to the left, to the right, so it won't damage. Um, yeah, if it got, yeah, if somebody decides to just throw it on your driveway, like UPS, uh, FedEx, whoever, uh, so it will be less prone to damage. So I like this packaging really good. So this is already a big plus, especially when you have uh, when it comes with a hard disk drive and not only SSD. So here we have this standard plug, as you can see. Okay. Um, yes looks good so I mean not too big not too small but it, I, I think it's a good good size really so no complaints about that and uh, yeah we have this three uh, three plug US thing and when you go to another country you can just remove or uh, replace this cable so you don't have to replace the whole thing I mean of course you can put a travel adapter here always that's no problem so let's take it out of this protection sheet looks a little bit mm, not super professional like all it almost looks like used but uh, I don't think it will be used but we'll see when we take it out so yeah uh, here looks everything good I don't see any scratches it's a little bit heavy I mean uh, yeah that's a heavy thing so I didn't expect it to be so heavy you see the uh, adapters on the side like a memory card here we have um, USB I think can't read that uh, looks like HDMI uh, Ethernet something else here can't see that maybe you can see I take it a little bit away can't see what that is Uh, yeah what do we have here of course the ventilation exhaust on the other side more USB probably um, two times USB I would say and then the headset and here's something else in the back can't find that maybe you can see that I've never seen that <laughs> okay doesn't tell tell me something um, yeah there's one LED light in the front let's see at the bottom yeah a lot of ventilation which is good uh, we have also these rubber rubber stripes here uh, at the front and also in the back as you can see here we have big rubber stripe so it, it's really secure it's quite soft so here probably the speaker or something like that yeah I don't know why it's here but it's difficult anyway to place it somewhere else so yeah I'll plug it in and then we will see so that looks really neat looks nice so we plug it in, plug in is here, we open that and yeah that looks really good. I don't see any anything special for the screen like uh, uh, fingerprints or something like that. Um, yeah, here we have a big touch uh, field. Um, yeah, here again we see same thing, a little bit of this description. Hope you can see that. I don't know if it gives you more information. 
Um, yeah, not so much subwoofer. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't expect too much, but it uh, says Inspiron 15 7000 series. That's probably the main description. I don't know why they didn't, didn't put it in the Amazon listing. So you can see this English keyboard. I'm showing you all the keyboard. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's nothing special here. You have the function with yeah, uh, some some special functions for um, speaker uh, loudness, um, brightness, um, yeah, wireless thing. Um, yeah, I hope you can see all these things if it's important for you. As long as you don't need, uh, as you're, you're not using when you're not using an external keyboard. Here, the power on off in the back. Yeah, I don't like it really because when you use it with an external screen and you just have a little space below uh, underneath your screen and you open it, maybe sometimes you have just so much space and you have to to uh, reach out to this button in the back. It's difficult, so I would like to have it on the side or more in the front. I don't know why they do, don't do that, probably not not enough people are using that like me here I don't know if there is something additional speaker so yeah doesn't look too bad at least it really looks uh, like new so I turn it on so it's a little bit heavy mirroring just turning off the light maybe then it's we don't we have less mirror effect the moment we just I'm just seeing me <laughs> it's difficult yeah maybe like this there's less mirroring um, yeah I will just apply all the information I uh, put it on pause uh, add all this information and uh, we'll continue so um, yeah it's about one hour since I started the whole process the problem is it was really straightforward really fast not much to do with just filling out my email Microsoft email account and password and you already have that it's really straightforward no problem if you don't have then you have to set it up the Microsoft account but um, if you already have one that's super easy you just select the country language you log in and then um, yeah it, it uh, you yeah you have to use uh, like to add your Wi-Fi password and then it connects to the internet and checks checks if there are online updates available and in this case yeah there's a new big Windows 10 update here now I think it's April or May 2018 there's a big update also on my computer it took about one hour here it's I have started it at least one hour ago and it's still only at 91 percent this is crazy so but I mean it's a one-time thing uh, as long as it works I haven't seen any error message what bothers me a little bit are uh, software updates regarding Dell Dell came up with something I didn't know if it's really needed required so I gave them per permission to access my data or information or information of the computer so yeah I don't like that but I didn't know I didn't want to cause problems so I gave them the um, authorization so and next thing is McAfee comes uh, there's also a Dell update I don't know if it's good so I think during the Windows update 
I think it's good to say remind me later. So the good thing, obviously, the uh, touch screen works. That's good. So, but I didn't buy it because of the touch screen. I don't know why they came up with the idea that the gaming PC needs a touch screen. So it's it's really bulky. I mean, it's it, it it's so heavy. Nobody has will, will have it sit on the lap and using it. Uh, I can't imagine that. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, but it was the cheapest uh, version uh, with this configuration. Anyway, so. Okay, now uh, regarding bloatware, it looks like it's coming up more and more with these things. I had a couple of minutes ago, I had an information about the Dropbox. He wanted me to set up a Dropbox or log into the Dropbox. Oh, sorry, <laughs> to Dropbox account. Um, yeah, which I didn't do. Uh, I don't want to have everything. I already have Google uh, Google Drive. So, um, yes, so um, now it says um, McAfee Life Safe. Um, yeah, of course, I want, uh, yeah, you can't turn off, uh, on, or off, or something like this at the moment. It's just at 91%. So, this is crazy now because it's during the setup it requests you to restart now from McAfee so don't do that otherwise you can be in big trouble uh, so I say restart later okay so probably there will be a lot of additional bloatware and it takes a lot more time <coughs> more time set this on pause 91 percent yeah after one hour it's a little bit annoying so but i yeah i i post this and i continue later okay so i did it now more or less um what happens after um i connected to the internet uh it did an update which took about one hour it counted up from 0 to 99% and when it was up to 90, 99% I thought it's good now it started another update which took another hour about so in total about two hours it rebooted many many times it was really crazy but I didn't have to do something it just did it automatically at the end I logged in and there was another update took again five minutes so but now i think i'm actually ready now with everything that's really crazy so that it took so so long but um it's looking pretty good also you see the um uh, um like the keyboard which is um illuminated that's really cool really looking nice um yeah so let's try and see what we have uh here so we go to this pc hope you can see that more or less i'm just tell you everything of course let's go and see we have a c and we have a d c is the os i hope that's on the SSD, everything else wouldn't make any sense. So, use space is 57 gigabytes, free space is 53. That's ridiculous. So, just with the installed Windows, already half of the space of this um, solid state disk is used. So I think we can remove a lot of them. You see there's a Windows folder. Hope you can see that. You can zoom in a little bit. So on the C drive we have a Windows, which is the current Windows, of course. Then we have a Windows old and we have a Windows upgrade. So I think we can, after it's uh, stable for some time, we can definitely delete that. And I want to get rid of some of these program files because program files I will put on 
D. I just want to have uh, on window, Windows only on C. So because C is really, yeah, that's the problem. You see D, you have one terabyte. It's not actually one terabyte. It's, yeah, I can go back, you see, uh, 931 gigabytes free out of 931. So nothing is there. That's the hard disk. So here I will place the programs and here I want to have just Windows because yeah, Windows is critical for speed for daily use. Um, yeah, so that's good so far. Let's check the system information. So we see here the summary. Um, yeah, we have the window uh the processor i don't have a mouse unfortunately so we can see but here you see there's an i7 6700hq hope you can see that so that's what we expected installed physical uh memory 16 gigabytes that is what i also expected and I think somewhere here, um, I have to find, I uh, can't remember anymore, I think it's display. Here we see the graphics card in the display. You see it's the GTX 960M. I don't, I'm not sure if we can see the amount of memory, but the internal uh, graphics card is a HD graphic 500 and 30 so i don't see the four gigabytes of ram on the graphics card but probably i would have to install something um yeah here we have the resolution that's probably the resolution of the screen 3800 to 1000 uh, uh, 1000 uh, 2100 3840 to 2160 so yeah looking pretty good so everything is really good and smooth and everything so no complaints i had i've told you i had i have bought uh computers which um had yeah either when i opened a problem or when i yeah after i did uh, some some work it came they came up with uh, smart errors from the ssd or other uh, problems so this one doesn't have any problems so far so what's interesting now you wanna uh, check the um software so apps which are installed so like some kind um like bloatware um where do we have this yeah um don't know if you can scroll down yeah here so here you can see yeah you see can you see that hope you can see that so bubble witch saga it's horrible candy crush saga oh my goodness so a lot of Dell things, I mean Dell update, that's okay, Dropbox, definitely we don't need. Um, yeah, McAfee, I don't need. Um, Office, I mean it's just a trial, I'm pretty sure. Um, Minecraft, uh, Netflix, Quickset, Sketchbooks. There's so many, I mean, yeah, so many, I would say, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's average. So what you can expect last time I set up an Asus and it had about same, uh, thing. I mean, it's bloatware. It's not so, um, yeah, it's not like on, a, um, mobile phone where sometimes it's impossible to get rid of these things when you, let's uh, here you have bubble, which, three saga we click on uninstall and it should be gone same thing with with other things candy crash 
all these stupid things sorry uh yeah we can't just get rid of that because they're usually it's i mean we don't need that and there is uh, some sometimes um yeah i mean not viruses but whatever they can have backdoors trojans uh, spyware at least uh, or or um can't remember the names where you have uh, adware and, and and those things so also mcafee um mcafee the whole thing the, the web advisor i will keep but the life save all these antivirus those things i will get rid of because i will use the microsoft uh defender i've uh, such a good experience with Microsoft Defender. I don't, I'm not using any other antivirus uh, thing anymore. It's uh, definitely, um, it's a good thing. So, uh, yeah, and all the other games I will get rid of. But, uh, but yeah, it, 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 it's looking good. So, and the touch screen, I mean, yeah, looks the like it's really working good at every corner so that's really i mean amazing i don't know uh i probably will never use that i'm not seeing the point why you would use a touch screen on a gaming laptop um but yeah maybe there will be some functionality or one yeah at some point I don't know. So, yeah, I think that's it at the moment. So, I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely uh, heavy. So, keyboard looking good. But it's a little bit heavy. But on the other side, I think it's really stable. So, I have, like when I compare this to uh, like a really similar Asus, uh, the Asus doesn't have, uh, yeah, I mean, it had the GTX 950, so this graphics card is a little bit faster, but the Asus had a CD burner or DVD burner, which is some weight, and at the end, the Asus, which had everything, and also an extra DVD burner, is about half a pound lighter than this one. So this is uh, three pounds. The Asus was uh, two and a half pounds. So this surprises me really. I don't know if the screen is so much heavier. It doesn't look really thick. Um, I think it's really thin. But mo mostly this uh, part here, down the here. I put on the light. It's a little dark. So you can see it again um yeah so turn it off close it again so i think this is really uh yeah this is super stable when i when i touch it uh it makes uh yeah it feels really uh really robust i mean a little bit more i think than the aces so probably this uh is a little bit um yeah part of the weight uh, because yeah it's it's just a little bit more uh stable maybe a little bit heavier um the case yeah and it looks really good i i i mean i really like it it's it looks good it's stable it works good it's not super thick it's actually for a gtx 960 it's really slim so i can't really complain here everything again so if you don't mind to have a uh, extra half pound compared maybe to the aces this is really a good thing and the, i mean if you want to do gaming then i think this is the minimum what you need to the uh, today the aces has a uh, only cheek gtx 950m this one has a 960m which is way better of course so uh yeah really really good um yeah so far i will uh definitely update the or, or or make another video after some time with all the experience but at the moment 
that's really good the setup is also good a little bit of bloatware i don't mind too much i will get rid of most of these things but at least it's set up with the windows on the c drive and data on the d drive i have seen this on another computer i have seen this uh, different so it, <laughs> there was the windows on the d drive on the hard hard drive so i had to set up windows again uh, before i could do anything that was really horrible so this is isn't isn't bad um yeah that's it for now um i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any question or comment just write to the comment section below and as always if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time <laughs>